500's out on the racetrack. Oh, Formula 500's out on the racetrack. And boy, oh boy, what a massive field it is tonight. Looking forward to this one. It's going to be an absolute beauty. Benjamin Thompson in the number 35 machine to lead him to the stripe. Owen Duffy on the outside driving for Team Underwood. The 21 machine of Cameron Lowe will come out of position three and Josh Nash in the 44 out of position four. Dave Keating and Owen Davison in five and six with Dylan Hedger and Anthony Gunnell. Mitch Whitmore in the 27, Dean Nash in the 95 and Summer Allen with some work to do right at the back. Keep your eye on the young lady, folks. She is a gasser in the bright blue and yellow number 15 machine. She will certainly be trying to carve up the field to try and get as quickly as she can to the front. She's got some big guns right in front of her. Looking forward to seeing what Anthony Gunnell can do tonight. He's getting better and better every time we see him in the 90 machine. Benjamin Thompson. Gorgeous. Dex number 35. He's missed the start completely. And gets absolutely swamped and the yellows will come on. Thompson got absolutely swamped on the start. Missed it completely on the green, green, green. And we will pack and stack one more time. So they'll set him up. Looks like Connell being told to, sorry, Cameron Lowe, sorry, going all the way to the back of the freight train. So being deemed to jump the start. Stewards laying down the law nice and early. Hope it's coming through loud and clear in your lounge rooms, folks. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching right around Australia on our YouTube channel. And if you're at the racetrack, thank you so much, folks, for joining us. Our second last Saturday night for the season. Lights go green. We're racing this time, and Thompson gets a better jump. Everybody fighting for a little real estate. The 600cc motorcycle-powered machines. Thompson leads at the stripe. Nash back to Gunnell, Keating, Allen and Hedger. Have a look at Summer Allen. She's already gone from the back of the freight train in the top four. Got Gunnell in the sights at the moment. Thompson leads Nash. Gunnell doing a great job in third, closes the gap up. So Yellows, one over. Unfortunately, one on its side. In the middle of turn number one. Crash crew there as quick as always. And I'll roll that down as gentle as possible. Round of applause for the crash crew folks. Out nice and early doing what they do best. Looking after our wonderful drivers. It is the 96 machine. Unfortunately, Dave Keating that uh, ended up on his side after having a great run in the Formula 400 doing double duty tonight. And the number 96 machine. Didn't look like it would be uh, too big a damage rolling over onto the side. Just caught the tail end of it, but unfortunately we, uh, we missed it on the cameras. So for those at home, we don't have the replay for you. But uh, just keeping an eye on Dave at the moment. He gives over the helmet. He's climbed out. Come on, folks, put your hands together for Dave Keating. As he climbs out of the 96 machine. And as we said, doesn't look like there's too big a damage there on the 96. So they'll get that back to the pits and fix that up. And uh, Dave should hopefully be back out for heat race. Number two, our fo uh, Formula 400, or Formula, sorry, 
500s are our uh, feature race tonight. That will be the last race of the night because they have the bigger numbers. So it'll be the sprint cars and then the Formula 500s straight afterwards. Thompson and Nash. Lights are out, single file one more time. And unfortunately, Thompson's gone the wrong side of the, uh, Thompson's gone the wrong side of the cone. And that will bring the yellows on straight away. And he may end up going backwards. So as we just watched the replay, for those at home, thanks to uh, Hannah Street Mufflers, bringing us the replays tonight. And Thompson out front, so he will suffer the penalty. He'll go back a spot. And there he goes on the inside of the cone. So you must go to the outside of the cone on the restart. You can't pick which side you want to go to. So Nash will inherit the lead. Finds herself in the top three. Whitmore tucked in behind and we go racing. Gunnell on the top side of Nash. Wheel to wheel as they come out of three and four. Summer Allen trying to get that car to bike to get on the bottom side of the racetrack. Finds a bit of grip, fires past Gunnell. Moves herself now into the top two. Remember she started dead last in heat race number one for the Formula 500s. She's now got Nash in her sights. Tightens the car up early. Tries to get the grip on the bottom side, switches to the top. Nash leading this one, Summer Allen. On the charge on the outside. New leader into one and two. Nash fighting back side by side down the back straight. Summer Allen shuts the door on him. New leader at the strike. Nash back in second, Whitmore third, Gunnell fourth. Low rounds out that top five. Summer Allen doing it beautifully now, leads the way. Started absolutely dead last in this heat race. A 14-3-4, 14-3-4 for Summer Allen. Searching the racetrack now, she slips back up to mid-track. One lap left to run. 400 metres left of the clayway here at Cairns. As the sun sets in the west, Summer Allen gets the win in heat race number one for the 500s. Josh Nash home for second over Mitch Whitmore and Anthony Gunnell. Owen Duffy the next one from Benjamin Thompson. Great recovery to get back the sixth over Dean Nash, Cameron Lowe, David Keating, Dylan Hedger and Owen Davison is the way they finish. Ladies and gentlemen and again the girls in the crowd make some noise for Summer Allen. Oh rip a job from the young lady. That beautiful blue and yellow number 15 machine. Wow, job well done. We'll be back straight after this.